Buenos dias and welcome back to another video everybody. I am in Laguna Beach, California today and I'm at 1000 Steps Beach. It's called 1000 Steps Beach because you actually have to climb down or go down a thousand steps to access this beach. So nonetheless, I wanted to come out and hunt for some photos out here in Laguna Beach. And it's a moody day, it's off and on rain. I'm really excited about getting some midday snaps out here in Laguna. And I'm really just hunting for some nice images. There are many people that are deterred by shooting in the midday sun or midday afternoon light. I'm not. You got to get out every now and then. There's seven days a week and every single day there's that period from, you know, sunrise to sunset that you have opportunities to improve your photography and that's what I'm out here doing today. I think I can get some pretty nice shots and it's a good way to work on your in-camera settings and get the image just right so you don't have to do that much in post. All right, I say we hunt for some photography on the Canon EOS R. Let's do it. All right, I'm ready to take my first image that I feel like I have lined up here. Let me turn the camera around. So um, I've got these uh, three rocks. Let's wait till the water clears back there. But I've got these three rocks right here. There you go, the bigger one dead center. And then there's another set right in the front of it. And then there's this little guy right over to the left. I'm only trying to capture these rocks in the image. Let me show you the setup here. You can see that. I'm at one second F16 ISO 100. So the water's dangerously getting closer to me, but when I mean dangerously, I'm just gonna get wet if that happens. And I'm trying not to get wet. So uh, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and snap this image. Let's see what we got. Yeah, I like that a lot. That's that's exactly what I'm looking for. I'm gonna shoot a couple different ones with the water receding, the water crashing over, and then just some in-between shots and see what looks best. So let's snap a few more off. This next image, I just went a little bit wider. I'm at 24 millimeters now, same settings, but I put those set of rocks off to the right in the screen. And let me actually turn the camera around. So, oh, come in close. All right, we're good. So I essentially have these on the right side of the frame and then just a little bit of this larger rock formation and both of them act almost like an arrow or a leading line out into the ocean. So I think they make for a nice foreground image. Again, we're gonna snap a few different images to get the water receding and obviously the water coming in from the ocean. So let's give this a go. I've just uh, turned around the uh, bend of the beach here under these uh, wonderful rocks. Probably not the safest place to be, um, I'm not gonna lie, but I love these striations here on this side of the, uh, the rock here. So what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try, at least this is what I'm thinking right now, I wanna get this nice color and part of that rock over here in the distance in the mid-ground and then off into the horizon line of the ocean out there. So I don't know what it's going to look like. Let's, let's set it up and see what happens. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot two different types of images. I'm down low right now. The perspective is down more on the ground level. I'm going to go more eye level here in a second, but I want to see what this one looks like. I'm shooting at 
one second shutter speed, F16, and I'm at ISO 100, and I do have a five stop neutral density filter on, so I have that one jacked up, so that's why I'm able to shoot at one second. Right now in the back of the screen, it doesn't look like the best shot in the world, but I think that pulling out some of the color that I see here, physically, while I'm here at the beach, I think it's gonna be beautiful, contrasted with the striations of the cloud in the background and some of this nice, light sand. So, I think we'll get it. I think we'll get this image dialed in. So now I'm gonna extend the leg. So on this one, I'm gonna go a little bit wider and capture a couple more of the seascapes out on the left side of the frame and I think that's just going to add a little bit more to the interest of the image. We'll find out! Definitely at different points in time when there's some turmoil or white water in the image and I slow that down to a second shutter speed that it actually looks a lot better than anything that would be faster, in my opinion. Again, when you go out and shoot photography, don't let people don't let people persuade you one way or the other. Go out and shoot and try things that you want to try and see what you like best. Let's keep moving down the beach and exploring. I've never been here. myself up on this rock and above all of these different seascapes here. The idea here was to get these rocks and leave them out in the ocean with this major big seascape in it. I think I've been able to capture that. I think this would look better in a much wider shot. The widest I can go is 24 millimeters right now. So what I decided to do was a five shot pano. So here's that. And I think it turned out pretty good. I enjoyed that pano a lot. It's really from left to right and trying to capture some of the beach here where sand meets water. So we're doing great. I'm having a lot of fun out here. Hopefully you are. Let's go find some more images. This is a lot of fun, hunting for images. Is that a, is this a new series? Hunting for photos, hunting for images on Buenos Dias imagery. I'm thinking it might be. I don't know, you let me know down in the comments. I think I'm gonna venture down into the water over here. It's all about the rocks here today. I'm definitely trying to get something unique, but at the same time, it's midday sun. We've got some gloomy weather. You can see it's super dark out there in the uh, horizon, but that's okay. That's what makes photography fun. Every day is different. All right, let's keep it going. So right behind me, I told you I'd come back to that green mothy rock that I wanted to get some way shape or form so what I did is I focus stacked it I focused on the, the more jagged bigger prominent rock in the front right there hopefully you can see what I'm talking about then the green rocky moss I got it there been predominantly on the same settings uh, floating between f16 and f18 and this was at one whoa this was at a one second exposure and ISO 100. I do have a five stop ND filter on there and that's what I'm shooting at. To stay dry, I straddled my tripod on this rock, stood on that rock and yeah, I got the job done. I got the job done. I'm pretty happy with the images that I've taken today. I'm having, I think I've mentioned already, but I'm having a lot of fun out here. And I think I'm one or two shots away from just finishing a nice two hour session out at the beach on a moody day. Go, let's go get a couple more. All right, I got my next shot set up. I got this little seascape that is on the left side of the image and then nothing but blue ocean in the background. So let me turn it around to show you. So what I'm looking at here is I got the camera lined up. Um, on the left side of the frame, again, I got this seascape and then there's nothing but ocean and dramatic skies in the background. So that's essentially what I'm looking to shoot right here. And I really like this image. I love the blues in this image. I love the greens in this image. I love all of the gray in the background. So I think this is going to turn out to be a nice shot. I really love this image. I mean, I haven't even taken it yet and I love it already.
Okay, editing Pablo here. So the last image that I took on the day was not recorded. I guess I didn't hit the old record button, but that's okay. I'm right here to tell you that I wanted to change it up a little bit and freeze motion. So I ramped it up to 100, 1 800th of a second on the shutter and just tried to stop that water in midair as it crashed into the rocks. And that's what this image is about. Let's get back to the video. going to do it here from Laguna Beach, a thousand step beach. I got to get my butt right back up those steps and that's probably going to be a good thing for me, a good exercise for the day. At least get my heart rate up a little bit. Uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed. Leave me a message down below. I'd love to chat with you. Like this video if you liked any part of it. Ring the bell just to remind you of new videos when they come out. I appreciate you guys a lot. I love you. Till the next one. Peace. Hey, I made it up the steps, but uh... Ah, my bottom's never gonna be the same. Wow! See you guys. <laughs>